Ah, uh, that's hot. <laughs> oh, dude, there's still some in there. What is this place? Hey, how's it going, everybody? It's Austin, and today, well, we're doing a couple things. We're gonna be going over a couple things we got for Christmas. And on that note, I hope you all had a very awesome Christmas. We're looking forward to the new year. Hopefully, uh, doing some cool things. That's the plan, as always. Uh, but we're here at the Pull Apart Yard here in Oklahoma City. Uh, we're looking for some ideas for seating for the Ram Charger. And uh, just looking to see if there's anything cool or interesting out here. But uh, let's just jump into some of this uh, junkyard stuff. And then uh, we'll go take a look at what we got for Christmas. And we'll talk a little bit more here in just a little moment. In a, little, in a couple minutes. We'll talk a little bit more in a couple minutes. All right, so I, I came and I saw this. You know, this is like one of the nicest cars I've seen out here on the junkyard so far. Um, it's got some carbon fiber on the doors. We got our uh, people that used to own the vehicle. Their names are vinyled onto the windows, which is cool. Don't get me wrong. That's cool. They got everything thrown in here. I don't think this was from the accident. I think this is from people taking stuff apart. But these seats look really awesome. Um, I think that they definitely need to be cleaned, absolutely, especially with all this stuff on top of it. I actually kind of like these seats a lot. They got a nice texture to them. Definitely needs to be cleaned again. Like I said, I'm going to keep repeating myself, but I just don't see the headrest. I mean, if this is if this is the Canada, I need a headrest. Passenger seat has a, has a headrest. Oh, man, I don't want that window to break all over that seat. Honestly, it'd be better if most of this stuff was shoved into the back. Man, there's tools and stuff back there. What? Okay. Oh, there are actual sockets. Those, that's, that's fines, guys. Those are fines here at the junkyard. Money and sockets. All right, so I got everything cleared off of here. Looks like the seats are in pretty decent shape with the exception of that hole right there. But it's not too, too bad. They got nice bolstering and the padding is still really nice. It's a 2016, so uh, I'm going to keep looking. But uh, if they're still here in a week, I'll take them home with me. I'm gonna throw some of the stuff back in the in the way because that's like a discourage people from get it kind of tactic. I don't know, but uh, maybe we might get ourselves some nice black uh, bolstered seats, nice headrests. That'd be nice. Anything can be fabricated. Honestly, with the amount of carbon fiber stickers and painted calipers and Summit Racing stickers, this may have been a uh hard tune car yeah maybe surprisingly enough i know a little bit of the backstory on this car uh yes it looks like it was just thrown together and you would be correct on that uh from what i was told is because this car was actually for sale here at the uh pull apart lot they have like the ability to sell stuff first before it goes on the lot but this was a little bit of like a camper attachment on here. Uh, the person who owned this previously, his wife was in the hospital due to uh, the virus. And he built this so that he could, you know, stay out at the hospital. So that was, that was really cool. A little story to hear about it. But, I mean, he didn't do too bad of a job. Let's, let's take a look. All the doors still work. He didn't do, do a too bad of a job getting this to fit in here. I mean, <laughs> uh, for what it is, it's not bad at all. But not something that I would I would do. No. And no, we're not taking the seats from this either. Alrighty, let's take a look at this thing too. This is pretty cool, a little Ram 50. Uh, this is pretty much just a Mitsubishi truck, right? Manufactured in Japan. Tiny little engine in here. Things super tiny. I've looked at a couple of these before, but um, yeah, you can't really find them really far and few between. What was the cubic inch on this guy? Well, there's that. So is it 121.9? So one point one. Wow, geez, 122. Hmm. That's this is like a little Ranger, I guess, of the. I guess Mazda B3000, or I, it's smaller than that, though. You can tell that that's a Mitsubishi Dash, though. 
they have that weird shelf on them. At least that's how I can recognize them. Hmm, that's interesting. All right, let's keep looking. Now, I have been looking into the Chrysler Pacificas. Um, they have nice, it's nice and soft. Oh, that's nice. We're going with a black seat, so that'd be really cool. Nice, soft black seat. Nothing leather, because Oklahoma heat. These do have the armrests, so uh, we're looking for that as well. That's where the dart is kind of at a loss, but the dart seats are really, really nice. These ones, still really comfortable. Um, did get the chance to sit in them. They're still a little dirty, but they do have the armrests. So this may be another candidate for our seat transplant. Now the Dodge Charger seats aren't too bad. Sorry for the road noise. There's literally a highway right over there. But charger seats don't look too bad. Um, I haven't been able to find two in the same place at the same color. This one's a little gray, not a huge fan. Did find another dart though. Unfortunately, oh. Unfortunately, this one was hit pretty hard. And uh, it did blow the passenger side or the passenger seat bag, but that's not that's not the end of the world. This can be sewn back up and still look perfectly fine. Um, so we'll just have to see. Driver's side seat didn't get blown at all, so that's that's good, but I don't know, I'm still liking that other one. All of these seats will need to be cleaned though. I don't know what year this one was. Let's go take a look back here. This one isn't as hard tuned as the other one though. This one's a 16 as well. So we got two 2016 options, all mechanical, which is what I'm looking for. I just want something nicer with, you know, some bolstering and uh, these seats would be really nice. Uh, I don't believe they're heated though, unfortunately, which isn't the end of the world, but um, this one doesn't have the, let's get that glass out of there. Uh, definitely would need to be cleaned. But this one, I think they're both black. I don't think that other one had any red accents, but uh, this would be a good driver's side and then the passenger we can get from the other one. Again, if they're here in a week, I think I'll probably go with the with the Dart. That may be the way to go. It's honestly kind of crazy that I literally can't find really any other seats except for like in the Dodge cars and other, and other cars. Not really find anything in the trucks. These things are pretty much stripped out, too. Jeez. Somebody's got an impact going. Yeah, I mean, in the trucks, there's like nothing at all. How about in here? Gray or tans? That's not that bad. I don't know. I still like those dark seats. And that'll make the Ram Charger fast as frick, bro. If you're sitting next to somebody, there's uh, three slug bugs. You can go ahead and hit some people now. Uh, respectfully, not too hard. Oh, wait. There was another one down there. Here's another uh, slug bug. You can put a little bit of heat on this one. Dang. She's a little toasty. Yeah, just a little bit. It's amazing what fire does to a vehicle. It just strips it out pretty much. All right, on to the next thing. Also thought about going with some, uh, oh wow, okay, never mind. I don't even look in here. I was gonna say some second gen or Dakota seats, but uh, there's not much of a seat under there. Okay. That other side doesn't look too bad. <laughs> The top is what I was looking at. I was like, oh, hey, you know, those don't look too bad. They're gray, though. I, I'm looking for black seats. That's what I'm looking for. All right, so, you know what? Instead of going anywhere, I'm just going to get these seats. Uh, they're already already on the card back there. Man, this was a big pain in the butt. So Dodge or uh, Fiat or whatever thought it was a good idea to use something like that. No, it is not a Phillips. It is not a Phillips at all. Um, so what ended up happening was, it's like, oh, can't take the rail out of the car. So let's see if we can take the uh, seat rail off of the car side of the rail. 
tried that it won't go backwards you have to do it going forward so you pop the little tabbies out and i wasn't thinking about buying a seat today but i bought two uh we do have to sew this one back together it did blow on that one side not too bad i mean it, it is what it is but those are some nice comfy seats out of this dart and they're pretty new as well so uh did the same thing up here saved myself with uh taking the back one apart um ooh, look a penny might get that out of there i don't know i'm not well I, maybe i'm that poor I, I don't know if i'm that poor but uh pull these up with like a flathead screwdriver get them out of the way and the seat will slide all the way up and uh you got to make sure the seat's all the way down and it's got like a, a raising front so all mechanical there's nothing electric about these didn't need electric in something like the ram charger but let's uh get these seats up to the front and see how much they're going to cost us i'm not looking forward to it not at all and when i got here today i had to come back and take a look at this um so a whole bunch of things going on with this guy right okay uh got an audio sticker here let's take a look at the inside of this right. sound detonating all the cool stuff look at that it's got some nice sound detonating back there no radio but this is where it gets interesting look at that this is crazy that seat does not go up anymore they got a homemade box back here it takes up the whole back seat that thing is massive absolutely massive uh i don't think that's doesn't seem like that's that i think it's mdf or whatever it is the subwoofer box stuff but that is definitely interesting to see and it's rhino lined that's crazy all right well it's time to go i'm gonna close this up but i got one last thing to show you guys again last clip we just looked at this but when we were over here we looked at this car and this was sitting right in there like that there was a bottle of crack and rum in here now let's open this up i'm not drinking this yeah but that's actual rum in there that's uh that's some junkyard rum guys that's some good stuff so we're back at the house i got the uh lincoln popped open we got some work we got to do on that it's not fun and you know what i'll show you real quick and then uh we'll go over some christmas stuff and new year's stuff and, and we'll go from there but the lincoln the mk this is an mkx right yeah mkx that's the one uh we got ourselves a little bit of a coolant link it's not showing down there but it's coming from this side of the radiator uh as you can tell there's like no way to get it out from just up top it involves taking the bumper off taking the uh engine cover off the um filter housing and everything it just a whole bunch of stuff needs to be removed this is all stuff that we can all see online but we were going to go over some christmas stuff so this is what we got for christmas this year we got some fresh dewalt tools our brand new dewalt grinder been waiting a long time for that uh, we've actually had it in the house that was a uh, purchased around the same time that my birthday stuff was but we, we got it now it's a christmas present so uh super excited about all this cool dewalt stuff brushless so it's a big step up from what i had before uh, we got ourselves a long craftsman magnet here flexi magnet uh, we got ourselves some microfibers already been using some of those i do have two things that i'm excited for these are going to be used on the ram charger um this right here is a rivet nut tool um so you can put these into certain little places and get yourself a threaded insert i plan on using this for uh the rebuild on the ram charger for the uh the uh interior panels in the back so that's that's the idea for this um and also for the ram charger it's christmas presents for me but also for the ram charger so right down here we have this kill mat stuff uh really really awesome it's 80 mil 36 square feet i do need to get a, a couple more of those got it from amazon as you can see so that's cool um but yeah we'll we'll definitely need definitely need some more of that this is the roller tool for it i think from one of the people on the ram charger uh, facebook pages they said that it needed to have like three and a half boxes so that's what we're gonna have to get I just wanted to share this stuff with you guys and show you guys what I got for Christmas. 
I hope you all had a good Christmas or holiday, whichever one or whatever you celebrate. I hope it was a good time. Hopefully got some time off from work and was able to uh, hopefully spend some time with family. Uh, now, getting into that, uh, Christmas is now over, New Year's is coming up, so I am hoping, again, hoping that this can be out way before New Year's, hopefully the Wednesday before, and I'm hoping that we can do a New Year's video as well. That'd be really cool to have, just to show you what's going to be coming up on the builds this coming year. That is the plan for a New Year's video. So if you guys, please stay tuned and watch that. That'd be really cool. Uh, and then we'll get you guys' take on that video as well. But I showed you guys some things that I got for Christmas. Go ahead and put down in the comment section below, what did you guys get for Christmas? What was, or, or your holiday season? Uh, what did you get? Go ahead and put that down in the comment below. Hopefully you guys got some cool things. Definitely looking forward to seeing what y'all have to say. So be looking forward to that New Year's video. I'm gonna go ahead and start working on the Lincoln, I'm not ready for it, but it's got to get done. We got the tools for it, okay? We got the tools. So with all of that said, don't forget to like, comment, subscribe. I hope you guys enjoyed this video today. Don't forget to like, comment, subscribe, and we'll see y'all in the next one. Well, found this random root beer. It was, uh, it was on the ground, but it's still good. I'm just going to give this car um, some root beer. Yep, there it is. Don't do that at home, kids.